Next case tayo is case 2. Okay? So, sa case 2 is actually uh, parehas lang siya sa case 1. Except that yung ating given differential equation ay combination ng sine and cosine. Sinabi kong same nga siya sa case 1 kasi ang titignan lang din uli natin dito ay yung exponent or power ng sine or cosine na merong positive at least one, no? at least one positive odd integer. So, kung meron kang combination ni sine and cosine, tapos nakita mo na isa sa kanila, okay, or pwede rin namang parehas, or at least one has positive odd integer, yung kanyang exponent, we will apply same analysis parang sa case one. So, if we have a given sine raised to nx, cosine raised to mx dx, if n is odd, for example, ang meron tayong odd na exponent ay yung sine. So, siya yung ating i-evaluate. Siya yung ipa-factor out natin. Isa-save na natin yung sine x dx. And then, ang matitira ay sine uh, raised to multiples of 4. And after that, i-represent natin yung sine raised to multiples of 4 in terms of sine squared x and minus 1 over 2. And then, papalitan natin yung sine squared na identity na 1 minus cosine squared x from Pythagorean identity natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung cosine natin ay pandagdag lang siya na variable. Kasi, if we replace sine squared x in terms of cosine, madidistribute lang din siya so, dun sa ating term. And again, nakasave na yung ating pang du kapag gagamitin natin yung u raised to n du. Para magamit natin yung power formula. Yun naman, kapag ang case, ang cosine ang naka-raise sa positive at integer, so siya rin yung i-evaluate natin. Save, save na yung isang cosine, dx, sa pang du natin. Represent cosine multiples of raise to multiples of 2 in terms of cosine squared x. Palitan yun ng 1 minus sine squared x. Tapos, i-evaluate. Expand kung kailangan expand and then distribute na yung mga terms. So, same procedure or analysis sa case 1. Except that combination siya ng dalawa. So, sample tayo. Ayan. So, mapapasin nyo, um, I have here na sit work. No? So, kailangan yung gawin tong sit work na to. Uh, na isasubmit nyo. Okay. Uh, tingnan nyo na lang yung assignment post mo. Kailan dapat isubmit to? So, para sa inyo yan, yan ay yung number 1 na gagawin nyo. Okay, so solve natin itong case 2. Again, combination of sine and cosine check. Okay? Tapos next, natitingnan mo, at least 1, merong positive odd integer. So, ito 4, hindi. So, yung 3, positive odd integer. So, apply case 2. So, si 4 ngayon, sine raised to 4 theta, dyan lang siya, standby lang yan. Ito yung gagalawin natin or evaluate. Isave na natin yung isang cosine. Tapos, matitira is a cosine raised to multiples of 2. So, dahil simple lang yan, raised to 3. So, ganyan na. After that, standby lang si sine raised to 4. Ito, papalitan natin ng what is cosine squared theta? 1 minus sine squared theta. So, dapat memorize ko na yan. Times cosine theta d theta. So, simple lang to. So, ito ngayon ay i-distribute natin. Okay? I-distribute natin yung cosine at saka yung sine per term. Pati yung integral sine and yung d theta. Sine raised to 4 times 1, sine raised to 4. And then, times cosine theta d theta. Kasi ito, itong dalawang yan, i-distribute natin sila dito. Tapos, dun din. Okay? So, cosine theta d theta. So, na-multiply na yung 1 dyan, ha? Tiglal sign. Okay? Dito na tayo sa pangalawa. Sine raised to 4 times, okay, sine raised to 2. So, same base. Kapag kasi nag-multiply ng parehas na base, according to your expo uh, law of exponent, copy, same base, copy base, add exponent. So, parehas na sine, theta. So, 2 plus 4, that is 6. And then, Multiplied by cosine theta d theta. Bakit negative? Negative kasi siya. Okay. So, tapos na. Tapos na yung problem. Paano? Ang u mo kasi dyan, okay, ang u natin dyan ay for the two terms, okay, sine theta. 
ang derivative niyan ng sine, ano yung derivative ng sine? Cosine theta d theta. So, cosine theta d theta, cosine theta d theta. Ang n mo dito ay 4, ito naman n to 6. We can use power formula, integral of u raised to n du. Kopyahin lang si n, nagdagin ng exponent over yung exponent plus c. So, yan lang ang gagawin natin. So, that is sine raised to 5 theta over 5. Okay, minus sine raised to 7 theta over 7 plus c or 1 over 5 sine raised to 5 theta minus 1 over 7 sine raised to 7 theta plus c. Ayan. So, ganun lang siya. Ha, simple. Parang case 1 lang siya. Difference lang ay meron lang pandagdag. Kasi ito, dinistribute mo din eh. So, dumagdag lang, dumami lang yung ating variable. So, ito, under case 2 siya. So, sige, umpisahan ko lang pero isosolve nyo na din no? So, sine raised to 5x cosine raised to 4x dx. So, ito yung aayusin mo ngayon. Save na yung isang sine. Tama? Tapos, ito na yung cosine 4x dx. Ay, wait na. Same na yung isang sign. Tapos, kopihin lang natin to. Tandaan nyo, kung ano yung merong positive add integer na trigo function, siya yung i-evaluate, siya yung ifa-factor out nyo. No? Huwag nyo gagalawin yung even. Hiyaan nyo lang siya chat. Ayan. Tapos, ito in terms of 2. Tama? Ayan. Cosine 4. Itong madidistribute lang mamaya itong mga to. What is sine? Squared, 1 minus cosine, squared x, squared, cosine, 4x, sine x dx. So, ngayon, ito, bago mo i-distribute ito, bago mo i-distribute itong mga to, kay dito, expand mo muna. Yung ginawa ko kanina. 1 square of binomial, 1 minus cosine squared, raise, cosine squared, raise to 2. Expand mo muna yan. Bago mo i-distribute itong dalawa. Yan. Tapos, doon ka na mag- apply na integration using integral of powers. So, kayo nang gumawa dyan. That is your sit work uh, problem one.